Hi, I'm Brian Mendoza, Senior Architect at CA Technologies. Today we are going to discuss CA's Digital Experience Insights. We'll be focusing primarily on infrastructure management for today's video. CA's Digital Experience Insights offers an integrated set of mobile and web end user, application performance, and infrastructure management services. It includes a single registration for all with a cross-capability workflow and a roadmap to further correlation. You might be wondering, what does infrastructure management provide? Infrastructure management provides a single analytics-driven solution for proactively and efficiently managing modern, cloud, and hybrid IT infrastructures. By leveraging the solution, organizations can speed mean time to repair, reduce monitoring efforts, accelerate new deployments, and improve the end user experience. It features full-stack monitoring spanning cloud services, physical or virtual systems, storage, databases, networks, and much more, as well as intuitive visualization, event correlation, and intelligent and predictive alerting. In the following demonstration, you will take a tour of infrastructure management using the provided Walk Me Through tab. After logging into CA's Digital Experience Insights, we are presented with the three capabilities, App Experience Analytics, Application Performance Management, and Infrastructure Management. For this demo, we will focus only on Infrastructure Management. The first time you log in, the Infrastructure Management How It Works page is shown. Here you have a detailed outline of how your on-premises or cloud-based infrastructure connects to CA's monitoring solution, Infrastructure Management. We are now in the Setup Wizard. From here, we can choose to monitor Apache, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Docker, Linux, or VMware. You can also choose Windows or additional monitoring such as LDAP, log monitoring, and more. Notice on the lower right, there is a Walk Me Through tab. We will click on this tab to bring up our Walk Me Through help. You can ask a question or choose from six help options. Install a Relay Hub, configure AWS monitoring, view alarms, add a new group, configure VMware monitoring, and configure physical server monitoring. Let's go ahead and choose to view alarms. We click on the alarms icon. In the alarms page, we see all the alarms, including device name, device type, alarm type, alarm message, and duration. We will choose the first alarm to view more details. The page shows an overview about the device we chose. Clicking on the device details gives us more details about the device. We can see the device name, the origin, primary IPv4 address, vendor, model, and virtualization environment. Clicking the X on the right hand side of the screen closes the details for the alert. Now we will look at alarms from within a monitor dashboard. We will select to view the alarms from the overview tile and then select view open alarms. Let's look at other views of infrastructure management starting with home. On the home page we see open alarms, monitored technologies, devices, device by role, top groups by alarm, and top devices by alarm. Next, we will look at groups. In the groups page, we see the number of elements, total alarms, and alarm summary. We can use a filter to show the groups we are interested in, and change the sort by name, severity, alarm count, and member count. We will sort by severity. We can look at summary data of the group by clicking on the eye icon. We can view the summary, alarms, and devices by alarm. Let's view more details on VMware. Here we see VMware Group is made up of hosts, vCenters, and virtual machines. Clicking on any of these tiles will show this group in more detail. Since hosts has the most critical showing, let's investigate this one in more detail. We can see the five hosts with critical alarms. Next, we will look at dashboards. We will click on the Microsoft Azure tile to see more details. In the Azure dashboard, we see Azure SQL, VM, Storage, Web Apps, Top 10 Virtual Machines, and Open Alarms. Clicking on the View Dashboard gives us more details for the dashboard. Let's look at the SQL Services Dashboard. The SQL Service Dashboard shows Alarms, Top Monitor Devices, Azure Service, Metrics, Devices, Components, and Metric Details. Next, we will look at Settings. In settings, deleted devices can be restored, relay hubs and robots can be configured, and pager duty can be implemented. 
That concludes our tour of infrastructure management. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube. For more detailed information on CA's Digital Experience Insights, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or view the learning paths.